Hey Tarot friends, I hope all is well with you. My name is LJ and welcome to the vlog. Today, we are checking out the Japanese gardens here in Buenos Aires. It is one of the biggest gardens that they have here in Buenos Aires. And that's the ticket booth. Let's see how much we are going to pay. Because for locals, they have the DNI, the local ID. Sometimes it's free for them and also it's cheaper for them. For us, foreigners, travelers, we have a different price. So let's check it out on how much we have to pay. So for general entrance, it's 416 Argentina pesos and it starts at 10 in the morning to 6.30 at night. 12 years old are free and 65 years and above are free with, uh, of course, this is what I told you about, the Argentinian notification or the whatever they call it. So in line. So I'm just waiting for my turn to pay for my ticket. I have my 500 here. It's supposed to be enough. Adelante. Hola. Para un persona. 416. Adelante. Muchas gracias. So I got my ticket. It's 410, but since they don't have change for 500, they usually just give out the $10, 10 Argentinian dollars for free. And this is the entrance to that. So let's go in, okay? Hola. Muchas gracias. This is the entrance to that. So. First impression impact right away. Japan, definitely. Um, I've been to Japan and I've seen most of this. But this one's really eerie weird that uh, it's it really looks like it's in Japan so let me give you a, a quick round through This is so cool. It is a big park. I kind of really hope to explore this today. And I've heard about this shop that they have. They have this paper lantern. Really does remind me of Japan. These are the paper wishes. It's just too bright right now, but they're beautiful. There's more right here. This is right away. The we'll go by later. Shop. Look at this arches. I like how red it is. Oof, too bright. This must be the koi pond. <laughs> oh, it's so hot. It's right about 94, 95 degrees. Fahrenheit right now and the shade is really helping a lot. I really need to do this today because 
for the next four or five days it's gonna be raining and I'm only here for about five more days so I don't have enough time to do this this is beautiful get a little view here yeah that is cool This park, this whole garden landscape was inaugurated in 1967 when, um, during the time of the visit of the determinant for the visit of the imperial family from Japan. So this is really a very authentic Japanese garden. I've read that um, it is one of the most similar, but the sun is blaring, this is the most similar architecture, design, landscaping to Japan all over the world so I'm lucky to be here. As I was telling you right there, uh, we have 1967 the opening or inauguration of this park. This is the monument of the Japanese garden. Let's go in. There's paper prints everywhere. That is beautiful. Do you know how to make paper cranes? I think I tried how to make it before, but I'm not sure if I still know how to make it now. But that's a lot of paper cranes, my friends, a lot. This is the map of the whole Japanese garden. It's huge, if you can see. You can see. Especially, I wasn't expecting the water. It to be this big but it is really big so is that the key I am right here we are here right now and we are about to go walk this little um, viewpoints a bridge to take a closer view of the whole facade let's see let's go up and see what exhibit they have for us today. It's located on the second floor of the, of this place. I don't know, this is not a museum, but yeah. Ah, this is so cool. I think they have... Mm. Nice. It's all paper art, origami, scorpion, mantis. This is, this is excellent. And you can actually, if you want to do some paper crane artwork, just go to the corner and you can do it. That's cool, it's a free activity to do.
food. Kind of want that even though it's really hot right now. Kind of want ramen. Of course, sashimi. Mm. So you can do your origami folding here for free. They provide the papers for you guys. See those big papers and some guides on how to make origami. This is super cool. I'm gonna try to make one right now. I, I don't know what I'm gonna make. Let's see. I have decided to make a heart origami. Let's see if we know how to do this. Of course, yes, to be ready. And through. Yes. I don't know if you can see it, but I'll show you. Uh, there you go. You can see me now, right? Okay. So I'm gonna like kind of fast forward this. After that origami session, let's check out this view from the origami room. It's just the whole facade. Not facade, like with the whole view. Oh, look at those two fishes. You can see it? So we're heading out of the monument and moving forward to the park because we have a lot of space to cover still. Anyway, if you do get hungry while you're here and while you're walking around, they have a restaurant. They have a, it should be authentic Japanese restaurant because it's inside this park and it's just next to the... What did... I always forget what it's called. The monument is always it's next to that monument and it's this big building right here where i was actually on the second floor the restaurant is located on the first floor i don't know if they have a menu that we can check but let's let's see so they do have a full restaurant and they're actually closing right now because the snack is only up to 4 30 it's already 5 30 and dinner starts at 8 so I might just eat here for dinner later they do like sound like they have a good selection of Japanese food and I'm up for some Japanese tonight it's too fine I don't think you can see all of it but anyway yes we might check it again right next to the restaurant there is a bonsai garden plant space that you can come it's called Tecnologia Japonesa. No, that's not what it's called. But this is the bonsai garden. You can buy plants here. So the plant parents out there, yo, this is like heaven for you guys. I was a plant parent, but not anymore. Oh, oh I know what that is. That's a succulent beads, I think. <laughs> And there's more right there. Right now we are going to that scenic bridges boardwalk, whatever they call it. 
Um, it's it's a good spot to take photos. Uh, I can't deny that. Oh, I have some interesting read about these two fishes right now. Hmm. Uh, those two fishes are boys actually. Although I don't understand all of this. I can translate it, but it's in Spanish. Saludable, fuerte, nada contra la comida. Sorry, guys. <laughs> but that's the koi. And we are going to the koi pond, that's why. This is the koi pond. Right behind me. So let's do a B roll. traditional belts that in Japan I've been I've used once or twice I think when I was in Kyoto it reminded me of that um, time we climbed all the way up to the Fushigi Fushigenari shrine and at the top of the Fushigenari shrine there is uh, a temple like this where you can use the bells um, the bell supposed to be for um, prayers and good lucks and warding of every spirits this one is erected on 1998 so this is a fairly new bell it's a nice installation and next to it is the snack area so if you're not keen on buying Japanese food over there at the restaurant that I told you about there is a snack area where you can buy your food which is good let's go check out what they have oh they have hot dogs or like yeah hot dogs for 300 like that's a dollar the hot dog is cheaper than the price the price is two dollars the hot dog is eight dollar with a bun and of course the burger two something dollars okay not bad i think they have more inside oh alfajores they have a japanese version of the alfajores that's cool and of course we have water snacks Coffee. Coffee for a dollar ten cents. Which is really good. But I'm gonna wait it out. I wanna be hungry because I wanna eat at that restaurant by eight o'clock. So let's see what happens.
sorry about that. My files got corrupted. Anyway, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to comment your questions down below and like, and of course, subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much, my travel friends. Catch you later. Ciao.